or foam roller if you're sticking around for foam roller later. But hey, Robbie, how you doing? Hey, feeling better? Yeah, good. Whew, recovery. <laughs> you guys, COVID shots hit people hard sometimes, you know? All right. All right. Happy Friday. All right. So we're going to start in standing, but we only have a little bit of work to do in standing. Then we're going to come down and then we're going to pop back up. Okay. So first things first, just standing on one foot, right? So we're just going to stand on one foot. Let me get my timer set. And we're going to twirl one ankle and twirl both wrists. So we just want to find our balance, bring some movement into the wrist and ankle joint. We're going to switch feet about the halfway mark, but keep your wrists twirling in the same direction. And now with that foot up in the air, can you keep your wrist twirling in the direction they're going, <laughs> but switch the twirl of your ankle. I had to stop. I had to make my brain <laughs> reset. All right, switch feet, set your foot down, other foot, and now switch the direction of your wrist. So we're just making some circles with the wrist and some circles with the ankles and you'll see where your balance is at this morning. This is always my bad foot. All right, switch the direction of your ankle. Let's see if you can keep your wrist going the other way. Five seconds left, you got this. Nice, and time. Okay, set that other foot down. Now we're gonna come back to that original leg, pick the knee up, swing it out with control, pull it behind you, set the foot down on the ground. Pick the knee up, big circle out, draw it behind you and set the toe down. Just find that little reset. Pick your knee up, big giant circle. So we're controlling that motion. It's not a big loose, loosey goosey swing. We're gonna pick it up, circle it around, find some control and set it down. Nice, we got about eight seconds left on this side. Last one here, and then set that foot down and switch over to the other side. Pick that knee up, big swing around with control, set the toe down. So this is a little bit more about hip mobility rather than about balance, but we do work our balance just a little bit. Nice, we got eight seconds left on this side. And time, awesome. Step your feet to a nice wide configuration, reach up and touch the ground. That's all you gotta do, reach your arms up, bend your knees, touch the ground. I don't care what the shape looks like, but we just wanna get a little bit of movement into all of our joints. Knees are moving, hips are moving, shoulders are moving, and then hopefully there's a little bend in the elbows as you come down and touch the ground. Nice, you guys. You're already halfway there. Now, if this is feeling good, <clears throat> pick up the pace a little bit start to get a little rhythm and get your heart rate up. Or if it's feeling good, but you really wanna keep that focus and mindfulness, take a little bit more time to go slow, check in, notice how your knees are feeling, ankles are feeling, and then make sure that you treat any parts with kindness that need that little bit of extra love. And time, nice work. Okay, come down onto all fours or into a tabletop position. All right, so we're gonna take our right hand behind the head, 30 seconds on this side. We're gonna take the elbow towards your left elbow pit and then raise that arm up and get a little twist in the thoracic spine. So elbow to elbow, and then lift that right elbow up as high as your body allows. Elbow to elbow, we rotate in, lift the elbow up and rotate out. And then just keep that going on this side. We got about 15 seconds left. Think about pressing your head into your hand and your hand into your head. So you feel a little bit of resistance or a nice structure in your spine. All right, switch hands, other hand down, left hand behind the head and away we go. Elbow to elbow, lift the elbow up nice and high. Elbow to elbow, 
and lift it up. Yes, beautiful, Judy, that's awesome. Nice, Karen, beautiful. Nice, Robbie, yes. And time, nice. Okay, put both hands down on the ground. Now, option number one, elbows and forearms down, especially if you've got any wrist situation going on, but we're gonna slide the right leg back. We're gonna keep a long straight leg. We're just gonna lift the leg up and lower it down. Nothing more than that. Just lifting up and lowering down. We got one minute on the clock, but we're gonna tune in, make sure our shoulders stay nice and stable. So if you need to walk your hands a little bit wider, broaden your shoulders, and then we're working out of that right glute. So we just lift the leg up, lower it down. Check your belly and just make sure that you're not popping the belly down and scooting the booty up. So we wanna keep a little bit of a firmness in the tummy as we lift the leg up, lower it down. Nice, you're already halfway there. And we just wanna make sure we're not wobbling all over the place. So even if your toe barely leaves the ground, as long as you're keeping nice stable hips, stable shoulders and a firm tummy, you're gonna find that work in your glutes. 10 seconds left, you got this. And time, beautiful, bring that leg in and right away we're taking it to the other side. So adjust your tabletop if you need to, but slide that left leg back, keep that left leg straight and we lift up and lower down. Same thing on this side, nice broad shoulders, stable hips, firm belly, you got it. Nice ting. We got 20 seconds left here. Just check your hips, make sure they feel pretty even. Shoulders feel broad and even. Ten seconds left. You're almost there. And time. Nice work. Bring both knees in and then just push your butt back to your heels. Get a little stretch to your tush. Now from here, we're gonna come down onto our belly. <clears throat> so take your time, come on down. And then we're gonna keep the toenails pressing down into the earth and hug the inner thighs together. From here, we're gonna stack our hands. Forehead is gonna rest on the backs of the hands and we're gonna keep the backs of the hands attached to the forehead. So think about some Supermans here. We're gonna keep the hands attached to the forehead, lifting up and lowering down. Lift up and lower down. We got one minute on the clock. You're just gonna work with your range of motion. We're gonna try to keep the inner thighs hugging together. So the whole back chain of the body is involved. And time, nicely done. Okay, we're gonna stay down on our belly and we're gonna take it into some scorpion. So we're gonna take our arms either out to a T, so out wide straight out from the shoulders or you'll bend your elbows. You're gonna find which configuration feels like a better way to go for your body. But we're gonna take and roll side to side. So left foot is gonna touch to the right side of the body. Arms are gonna stay out wide. Right foot's gonna touch to the left side of the body. So we're gonna take that side to side 
I slide my opposite hand in as I reach out. So it just gives me that little bit of support that I like, but you move your arms in any way that feels good. We got one minute on the clock. You're gonna take it at your pace. If you like to pause for a second, find that little bit of mobility and stretch and then roll back onto the other side. You can always pause, or if it feels better to just keep moving, you're getting a little massage along the tummy as you roll from side to side, and then some mobility work in the shoulders. So make sure that you're just staying safe in your shoulders and moving at a pace and a depth that feels right in your body. You're already halfway there. Nice, you guys. And time, awesome. Now back onto the belly. We're gonna take it into negative push-ups, and then we're gonna take a knee down to push all the way up. So while you're down here on the belly, knees down, bring your hands alongside your shoulders, push your way up nice and strong. Cool, now we're gonna lift the knees up, lower with control all the way down to the ground. And then once we're down, knees are gonna stay down to help push our way back up. So it's a negative push-up. We go down really slow from that high, Push up position or high plank position. So you put your hands in a position that works best for your shoulders and chest. Lower all the way down to the ground. Knees stay down. Nice plank spine to come up. Lift the knees. And then we negative lower down. All the way down to the belly. Knees down. Plank spine push up. And then lift those knees back up. Nice, now if your push-up game is super strong already, you can just take this into your regular push-ups or any other fancy variety that you like. But if you're still working on your push-ups, we lower nice and slow and controlled. Knees stay down, long plank spine, push your way up with control and then lift the knees up. Nice, Karen, that looks beautiful. Yes, Robbie. And time, beautiful, you guys. All right, we're flipping over onto our backside, <clears throat> taking it into some reverse crunches. So version number one, you can keep the knees bent, hands down alongside the hips, and you're just kind of popping the tailbone up, crunching those abdominal muscles. If that feels good, stay there. If it feels good, but it's not quite enough work, legs are gonna come up, same maneuver, crunching the abdominal muscles and that tailbone lifts up. Now, if that doesn't feel like quite enough work for you, then you're gonna find that reverse crunch, send the legs long, reverse crunch and send the legs long. You're gonna find the version you like best that gives you a nice challenge, work those abdominal muscles, you got it. Nice ting, yes. Ooh, yes, Robbie, very nice. Hey, oh, Judy, very good. You guys are amazing. You got 20 seconds left. And time, nice work. Okay, light set of weights if you want. We're gonna take it into a dead bug position and the weights are just to load the arms. So if you don't wanna load the arms, you could just leave the weights off. But arms are gonna come up straight out from the chest and they're just gonna stay there. Legs are gonna come into a tabletop position and then we're gonna take it in to some reverse fire hydrant. So arms are gonna stay up straight out from the chest, nice and stable. And we're dropping the right leg out and then the left. While the right leg goes out, the left leg tries to stay as steady as it can. And then while the left leg goes out, 
the same for the right. So everything stays really nice and stationary, except for the one limb that's moving. And you're moving straight out from the hip joint. Yes, Robbie, beautiful. Nice, mama, that looks great. Nice, Karen. Oh my God, you guys are on fire this morning. What? And I'm already sweating. <laughs> We've got 20 seconds left <clears throat> for any of these moves that you do. You are always welcome to take your breaks as needed, your sips of water as needed, and always listen to your body and give it what it needs. And time, beautiful. Okay, if you were holding on to weights, just kind of set them off to the side. We're gonna set the feet down. We're gonna take it into some bridges and we're gonna reach. So we're gonna lift the hips up. My left hand is gonna reach over to the right touch, come back in, lower the hips down, lift the hips up. Right hand's gonna reach over to the left, bring it back in and lower it down. Lift the hips up, reach over and across, come back in, lower the hips down. Now, if that maneuver is no good for your shoulders, you're gonna stay with a hip bridge and then maybe just reach the arms up and overhead, lower with control. But if it feels safe and comfortable in the shoulders, we hip, hip lift and reach, lower down. Lift up, reach, come back in and lower it down. Just make sure your knees are happy, shoulders feel safe and comfortable, and then take any other variations that work better for you if this is not the right move for your body this morning. Nice, you guys. <clears throat> and time, beautiful work. Okay, we're gonna grab the backs of the thighs. We're gonna take a couple of rocks and rolls. We're gonna rock and roll some momentum and come all the way on up to standing. All right, now we're gonna find a little turned out foot position. So think of little Pilates V. So heels together, toes out to the left and to the right, like your feet are making a little piece to slice. And then we're gonna take one leg, lift it up just a little bit. So it's a single leg wide squat. So we're gonna squat on just one leg and we're gonna stay with that leg for 30 seconds. All right, here we go. So that leg is lifted and we're just keeping that leg lifted as we bend our standing leg and straighten up. So tune in and notice, this is working that little muscle, especially that runs right inside that knee. So we wanna make sure we're only bending as much as we have control of and make sure that your knee, although might feel challenged, we don't want it to feel hurt. There should be no sharper shooting pain. I think we got one more here on the side. Awesome, set that leg down, keep that little turned out position, pick the other leg up and away we go. We bend that standing leg and straighten up. Nice, so there's that little zipping up of that inner thigh muscle. Keep a nice tall lifted posture so we're not hunching ourselves forward. We're gonna stay nice and light and lifted. We got 10 seconds left, you got this. Ooh, this is my bad leg. <laughs> and time, nice work. Okay, grab heavy, heavy weights if you've got them or whatever weights you're working with this morning. All right, so we're gonna come into our sumo squat. So step your feet out to a nice wide position. Toes turned out to the left and the right. We're just loading those weights right at our shoulders. Sink your butt down and rise right back up. We got one minute on the clock. That's all you got to do. If you want to get real fancy with it, overhead press to come up, but we really just want to work those legs and keep that engagement in those inner thigh muscles. So as you lower down, if those knees are buckling in, go a little slower, focus on pushing the knees back. As you come up, 
and as you go down. Nice. and time awesome you can keep those weights if you want to we're just going to keep them again loaded at the shoulders but now step your feet so they're about hip with distance apart we're going to take it into a more traditional squat so sink your butt down rise up shift your weight over to one foot we're going to kick the leg straight up bring it back in squat down shift your weight over to the other foot nice drag leg lift it up and lower it down so we got one minute on the clock we alternate that front kick. We sit our butt down into a squat, shift your weight, straight leg lift, set it down into your squat, shift your weight over to the other side, straight leg lift and lower it down. The straight leg lift is where it's at. We wanna keep that nice straight leg, feel that work coming out of the quad as you lift and then feel that little bit of work in the glutes as you sit your butt down, nice. And time, beautiful work. Okay, if you're holding onto your weights, just move them off to the side a little bit. We're gonna take it into our glute jumps. So we're gonna activate those glute muscles, sit in a little squat. We're gonna take a little jump forward, but we're gonna land on our heels to the ball of foot to the toes. So we wanna find that heel land and stick the landing. So we're not gonna pop back up and then we're gonna step it back. So we take a little jump, stay low and step it back jump and step it back if jumping is not for you this morning you're going to stay in that low position heel heel sink a little deeper step it back heel heel sink your butt a little bit deeper and step it back but if it feels safe and comfortable to jump we take that hop stay low step it back you're already halfway there if this feels like it's not quite advanced enough for you and you need more work you're gonna jump one leg, try to land on that heel, and then switch legs and try to land on your heel, keeping your butt nice and low. We got 15 seconds left, you got this. And time, nice work. Okay, grab your weight. <clears throat> so now back to that original move we were doing where you reach up and touch the ground. That's all you got to do. But now with those weights and a little bit more focus. So your heart rate's up a little bit from that jumping. And now we want to focus on setting the butt way down and back, reaching up and overhead. If that big reach up and overhead isn't right for your shoulders, just reach out a little bit straight in front of your head. But we still wanna reach down, touch the ground and reach the arms up to whatever figuration of up works best for you and your shoulders. And time, nicely done. Okay, move your weights out of the way. We're taking it to the back end of our mat. 
This is my favorite one, just because I think it's fun. Okay, so we're gonna bear crawl to the front of the mat, stand up, and then you're gonna tippy toe walk backwards. So we're gonna bring our hands down to the mat. You can keep your butt nice and high. You're just gonna bear crawl your way up, rise up, lift your heels, and as fast as you can, tippy toe walk your way down. Hands to the ground. You can keep your butt up nice and high, crawl your way forward, lift up, lift your heels, and tippy toe back. Hands down. Your heart rate might get up here, so just pay attention. Make sure everything feels like it's okay. Lift the heels, and as fast as you can, tippy toe back. If that bear crawl doesn't work for you, just stay low, let one hand touch, one hand touch. You're still getting that crouching maneuver. Heart down just a little bit, and then tippy toe walk back. You got 12 seconds left, you got this. A nice little bit of primitive movement here. This is so we can get down on the floor and play when we want to. All right, that's time. Finish it up if you didn't. Woo! And if your heart rate is up like mine, that's awesome. All right, grab one weight. A little working recovery. So we're gonna keep that weight to start nice and close to the chest. Feet about hip or shoulder width distance apart. And we're just gonna to start to rotate the torso. So we wanna see if we can keep that weight right in line with the breastbone or the sternum. So we're really not moving the shoulders, we're moving the torso. So arms are steady and strong, rotate from side to side, see how that feels. Make sure that's safe for your back. If that's feeling good and you need more of a challenge, you're gonna to start to move the arms further out and away from your body, but you're still gonna keep that weight in line with your sternum. So it's not your elbows and shoulders that are rotating and moving, but your torso. So keep a firmness in the arms. If it helps, stare at that weight. So everything's gonna follow. You're gonna keep your spine in a nice long line. You got 20 seconds left, you got this. If holding the weights out far away starts to become too fatiguing, bring it back in. But we're still gonna maintain strong arms, hips are stable, and we're rotating out of the torso. And time, beautiful work. Step your feet nice and wide. This is our last move, all we gotta do. So feet nice and wide, a slight turn out of the toes, we're gonna take it into a side lunge, touch, switch hands in the middle, touch to the other side. Switch hands in the middle and touch. We got one minute on the clock. You're gonna move at your pace. If at this point you're feeling really revved up and you got a lot of energy and you wanna kick it into high gear, do your thing. If you need to start cooling down now, slow it down and be a little bit mindful. Twenty seconds left. You guys are amazing. And time. Nicely done. Keep that nice wide configuration of your legs. Just set your weight down in front of you on the ground. And we're going to take it into a little fold. So if you like. Hands touch the ground, shake out your shoulders, make sure your feet and your knees feel in a good position. Pigeon toe your feet in slightly, if that feels like a really nice way to find that activation of the inner thighs. And then walk over towards your right foot, let your nose soften towards your knee. Nice, and then walk over towards your other foot, let your nose soften towards your knee. Come back to center, 
Take one more breath here. And then we're gonna toe heel the feet in a little bit. So we find about shoulder width distance apart. And then with a nice generous bend in your knees, pull your belly button in, roll on up. We're gonna bring the hands behind the back with a little clasp of the fingers, draw the knuckles towards the heels. And we're just gonna start to pump the arms away from the back side of the body and start to find a little squeeze in between the shoulder blades. So as you start to find a little bit of range of motion in the chest and the collarbones, tune into the backside and squeeze in between the shoulder blades. Like you're really trying to bring them together to touch. Two more pumps of the arms. Nice, and then let that go. Step your right leg across the left. So a little crisscross of those feet. Line up your pinky toes as much as you can. Walk down to the thigh, pause, take a breath. Walk down towards your shin, pause and take a breath. And then just assess, is that enough sensation? If that feels good, but you want more, walk all the way down towards your toes. Let your head hang a little heavy here. Take a nice big breath. Awesome, and then come up nice and slow and controlled and switch the cross in your feet. So we're gonna step the other leg across, get yourself all set up, walk to the thigh, pause and assess. Walk down towards the shin, pause and assess. And then if that feels like not quite enough and you want a little bit more sensation, down towards your toes and let your head hang nice and heavy. Cool, and then when you're ready, come up nice and slow. Unwind those feet, give everything a little wiggle jiggle, make sure it all feels good. Woo, grab your foam roller if you're sticking around. You guys kill it on a Friday, amazing.